Right, before we leave this question, example 2b, I'm going to change the question here. It's the same scenario, but it's going to be find the probability that the total score over the 40 rolls was greater than 120. So, I've got a new variable here, I'm going to call it t, which is adding up the score on the first throw and the second throw, all the way up to adding up the score on the 40th throw. This is a recap. For a random variable x, we knew that mu was 2.5 and, and that sigma squared was 3 and a quarter, 3.25. For t, what do you think the mean is? What do you think mu is going to be for t? 100. Where does that come from? Yeah, it is. Just to the 2.5 here, 2.5 two times by 40. Okay. The total will be 40, 40 times what the mean would be each time. That's correct. Okay. And what about... The variance. What do you think the variance would be? And let's just have a have a stab at this. Have a guess at it. If you have a sensible guess, you'll probably get it right. Yeah, times that one there by forty. Okay, times the three and a quarter one by forty. If you're adding things up, because there's variation in each one, and you're adding it, the variation gets bigger as well. So that works out, I think, to be 130 I've got down here. So we've got now that the sum, which we're calling t, has a mean of 120 and a variance of 130. Now because we are adding these up, and they are random variables, it's like it follows from the central limit theorem, really. It's like scaling up your average. It's like doing your average thing lots of times. T itself, the sum of them, will follow the normal distribution with these parameters, 100 and 130. It's not too much of a leap of faith to accept that. So we wanted the probability that T was greater than 120. Yeah. You're one step ahead of me, and you're exactly right. Well spotted, yes. Okay. T is adding up lots of discrete things. X was discrete. X bar wasn't. But T, which is adding up lots of discrete things, T will also be discrete. So in a minute, if I'm doing a normal calculation here, yes, I will have to use the continuity correction. Well spotted. Okay. I'll deal with that bit in a minute. First of all, greater than 120 would normally, uh, what would I do? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a bit where you have to use the continuity correction because I am going from something which was discrete to something which is continuous and I have to adapt. So, the opposite of greater than 120, less than or equal to 120, so I've got to make sure I am including 120. What number do I put here? It's correct, 120.5. That is after I've used the, new, the continuity correction. And now that just becomes a straightforward normal question. Okay, 1 minus phi of and so on. Okay, I'm going to try and freeze it on the board but not on the video and just finish this one off.